Hey guys, so I wanted to do another Shop and Say um, review or haul. Um, so I made another order with them. This is my third time ordering with Shop Me Say haul with Shop Me Say, and um, I made my order on the 13th, I believe, of January, and I got my package yesterday, which was I believe the 24th. No, the 23rd. Cause today is the 24th. So I got my items yesterday, which was Friday. Um, so the USPS, the postal office, was not open on Monday. So I, I guess that's why um, there was a delay since they didn't ship the package yet from Texas, since they are based in Texas. So I, there was a certain delay. Usually, I, I believe it takes like three days or so for your package to get to you. So. Um, it, it took a while, so I got my package yesterday, and I am going to show you guys what I purchased from them. So, starting with beauty items, um, I picked up two pair of eyelashes. And I believe one of them is human hair. This one is human hair, and it's from Sardle Lash. And that's how they look. Sorry about the glare on the computer. I'll have to hold it up like this so you guys can see it. And then the other pair is the Kara eyelashes. And oh my gosh, it's actually 100% human hair as well. Um, I like these. Well, I haven't... I always like to pick out the ones that I feel like are um, not over-exaggerating. And are more like normal that I could probably put on on a casual occasion or something like that. So I picked up these just because I thought they were pretty fun to wear. And yeah, I like them both. This one has a little bit more of like eyelashes than this one, that's for sure. But hopefully I'll like them both. So I picked those two up. Um, and then I picked up a lip, some lip products since I've been meaning to try one of their lip stains. And it's this Clan Color Moi lip stain. And I think it's called, it's in the number, I don't even know I, if I should be holding it this way or this way but I think the color for this um, is rose sand it's supposed to be like a very hot pink and I already tried this product so most of these products I'm going to show you guys I already opened and swatched them and tried them on so I will not be doing that with you guys so um, yeah I got this product and I tried it on my lips yesterday and it was drying but it it left like a nice tint to your lips so I believe it was worth the buck I guess Although the color is definitely not really close to the rose sand color that I showed on the picture. So I would probably not pick this product up again. But for a dollar, I wouldn't mind, you know, having to spend. And then I picked this other product up. And it's a clan color from the same brand that from the lip stain. And this is a lip pencil. And it's in the color, I believe... Fuchsia. So I already swatched this um, lip pencil yesterday and I also tried it on my lips and I really really liked how it looked on my lips so I'll probably go back and purchase the same color or maybe other colors. If you guys have any suggestions of what um, lip color. So this is supposed to be a lip for your lips and also for um, your eyes but I don't know I might pick more colors just to put on my lips. So this is how it looks. And it looks kind of purpley, like it might have like a purple pink undertone, but it does like look like a nice shade of hot pink. Like probably the same color of that male packaging from Ipsy. So yeah, that's the other lip product that I picked up. And then I picked up um, something for my eyes because I've been meaning to try out some concealers. So I just picked one up from e.l.f. and it's just this tone correcting concealer and in the it's in the color Africa Beige. You guys won't be able to see the, the name but it, yeah it's in Africa Beige and it just palettes. And I love how their product smells. I don't know it's, it just smells like it does smell like product but it has like a nice smell, subtle smell to it. So yeah, I don't know. I picked up this in the color Africa Beige and I've yet to try it. So I'm gonna, 
but I'm gonna try this out tomorrow so hopefully I'll end up liking it and wanting to purchase more since I need to get rid of these little dark circles under my eyes and then the last um, beauty um, product that I purchased was this elf brightening eye color palette and it's in the shade brownstone so I I'm gonna open it so you guys can see the glare but it comes with this little sponge applicator and then with this four shades so it's like a nice nude color over here and then this is more like a purpley champagne color I feel like I have a shade like this already and then this is like a brown color and then the top one is more like a, either a dark brown or like a black I'm not really sure but it's like a very dark dark color I believe it's like a darker shade of brown but I'm not sure so um yeah I picked up this um little palette I haven't tried any of Elf's eyeshadow palettes, so I'm kind of um, excited to try this one out because I've been meaning to just get a palette that's all neutral colors so I could wear like during the day or during the night. Um, so I thought this would make a good essential um, eyeshadow piece to start off with. So yeah. And then I got some underwears because they also sell underwears at Shop Me Say, so I figured why not because they're only a dollar. Although I have purchased from them before some underwears and I actually did like them. So I uh, ended up purchasing the same style as well. So the ones that I'm going to show you guys are the same style that I picked up last time but in a different color. So the first pair I got were this lace and these to have a hot pink and it's black lacing the other ones that I picked up had actually pink lacing so these all have a black lacing and then I picked up a red pair and then I picked up this fun yellow one although the lacing I did not think they would be like a salmon -y, coral -y color I thought they were gonna be like a hot pink or something but yeah I don't know, I just thought these were cute. <laughs> so, um, those were the items that I picked up, underwear-wise, <laughs> stuff like that. So, the last products that I picked up were just, um, accessories. So, I picked up a pair, a set of earrings, and it's 12, I believe. So, I already wore one of them. They're pink. But they're just these really cute, colorful roses. And as you can see, you have a lot of variety to choose from. So you will know that you can pair these with any outfit. So yeah, I picked these up because I like to, like I said before, try on different... I like to match my earrings with my clothes almost all the time. And then I also picked up some rings because, you know, I just... I've been meaning to try out some dinty rings, some very settling rings since I have rings but the rings that I have guys are over exaggerated like statement rings and they are pretty heavy to wear so I figure since this ring set I purchased are on trend right now you know why not and purchase them so they come in this little packet and I would like I said I already opened these packages so I don't have it on the actual original package so I'm just gonna show you guys the ring so yeah, um, I picked them up and I gotta admit guys, I only picked these rings up because of the turquoise little accent in them, well one of them. So I picked up this rose that has like little black flower there and yes guys, the gold um, ring on it, it's, it makes it look so cheesy and tacky but well, you get for what you pay for it. So, I mean, I, I still like them. They are cute and whatnot. So that's one of them. And then the other one, this is one of my favorite ones. It has like this like nice corally, I mean, aqua green. I don't even know what color this is, guys. Like, um, I, don't, I don't know my colors right now at the moment. But I picked up this other ring here, and it's so cute. This is one of my favorite ones. And then the other one has just this pearl on it, so that's kind of cute, I believe. And then the other one is like, I guess, like a normal um, rhinestone ring. 
This one is the most cheesy one. Definitely the most tacky looking one. But it's super cute. And then this is another one that I really liked. And the only reason why I picked this up. And then the other one. That's like the mini version of the engagement ring looking one. But yeah. I picked them up and I, I don't know, I really like them guys. I do. They're super cute and like I guess easy to like style and wear and stack them up on your hands and they won't look over exaggerated compared to other rings. So those were the rings that I got. So I also purchased a necklace from them and it's a set of three layer necklaces and that is how you're supposed to style them, like stack them up all three of them. And this is how they look. The reason why I got these were because I don't really own any Aztecy kind of looking uh, accessories, so I got these because of the orange accent to one. I thought it was super cute and different. So the first one is like a triangle, and the other one is another triangle, and the third one is just like I don't know what to call it, but yeah, that's how they look. Sorry about the glare again. And the other necklace that I picked up was supposed to be this two leaf necklaces and then the third one had like this really cute dark galaxy blue tone blue stone or black stone um, pendant so I was so psyched for um, to get that one so that was pre basically I want to say the only reason I made this whole purchase together was just to get that one necklace because it went out of stock and then I saw it go back on stock so I was so lucky enough to actually make my order before it went out of stock again since if you guys are not aware Shop Me Say has a lot of um obviously a lot of like trending going on with their site so many people go to their site for the eyelashes you know for makeup stuff or accessories and accessories are pretty much the first items to go a lot as well so I was pretty bummed out when I got my package and saw that the stuff that I, the necklace particularly a necklace that I wanted to get wasn't there so, although it did send me something which was um, this one necklace and it has just um, two little crosses and I guess like the safety pin here I don't know if I remember seeing this on the website, but they ordered me this, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably just going to give it away, or keep it, or try to sell it, or something. I don't even know what the heck I'm going to do with this necklace, but it's, it's cute, I guess. Um, so yeah, they gave me that necklace instead of the one that I had ordered, so I emailed them, um, bought the product that I wanted to purchase, and have yet to receive a reply back from them. Hopefully they won't they will answer me back and I will, they will just clear this whole time up because I really was looking forward to that one necklace like it really kind of sad me. it bumped me off for sure but overall I did enjoy all the items that I purchased with them and yeah that was just my little haul of shop and say hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys have um, purchased from them if you guys have purchased from them before let me know what you guys thought of their service and whatnot. And yeah, give this um, video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, rate, whatever you guys want to do. So yeah, thanks for watching.